Today I will talk about the movie Fast and Furious Hobbs and Show and for contents I'll talk about director, characters, brief summary and my feelings. So firstly uh Dave Leach is an American filmmaker, actor, stunt performer and stunt coordinator who made his directional debut on the 2014 action film John Wick with Charles Tehilski, the one is he was created. Leach then directed the thriller film Atomic Blonde, starring uh, Charles Theron and uh, Deadpool 2. In 2019, he directed F Fast and Furious. Hobbs and Show, a spin-off from the Fast and the Furious franchise. Uh, Leach and Chad Stesky opened an action design production company called 8711 in 1997. And in 2009, Stesky and Leach were second unit directors and stunt coordinator on Ninja Session. The two co co-directed the two, uh, 2014 film John Wick, although Leach himself was not credited as co-director. Leach executed produced the two John Wick sequels. He eventually moved on to director films such as Atomic Blonde and Deadpool 2 with his wife and creative partner Kelly uh, Kelly serving as a producer. In that 2019, he directed the Fast and Furious uh, Hobbs and Show. And now, I will talk about uh, talk about the characters. So, firstly, uh, Luke Hobbs is a DSS agent assigned by the CIA to work with Deckard in stopping Snowflake in spite of their disdain for each other. And secondly, Deckard Shaw is a mercenary formerly with British Special Forces and MI6 and had his brother who remains at odds with but join forces with Hobbs in order to have the former sister Hattie. And Brixton Lore is a cyber genetically enhanced terrorist working for Etienne and former MI6 field agent who has a history with the card. And lastly, Hattie Shaw, she is an MI6 field agent and sister of the card who is being hunted by Lore. And so for summary, in London, Hattie Shaw and her team of MI6 agents attempt to re retrieve a programmable super virus named Snowflake from terrorist organization Etion. Uh, Brixton Lore, an Etion operative with cybernetic implants that allow him to perform superhuman feats, lives, and kills or or the agents except Hattie who injects Snowflake into her before escaping. Bigston frames Hattie for killing her team and stealing Snowflake, forcing her to go on the run. Luke Hobbs and Decker Show uh, are both informed of the missing virus and or are re reluctantly assigned to work together to track it down. After a brief meeting at a CIA black site at the cheese grater, the card goes to Hattie's house for information while Hobbs manages to find Hattie after a brief scuffle. He brings her to the CIA office as the card then returns. The office is attacked and Hattie is taken by Brixton whom the card recognizes as an old colleague turned enemy he would previously shot and 
supposedly killed. Hopes and Deckard pursue and rescue Hattie during an insurance car chase, managing to escape from Brixton, who falls off his motorcycle and crashes through the second level of a double decker bus. However, Brixton frames all three as traitors FBI Tion's control of global news media. And lastly, about my feeling. I was sad that the core of this movie, car action, seems to have decreased a little. However, compared to other action films, the greatest strength was the fact that the surrounding terrain and environment were used so well. There are several scenes that show this a chase car and a motorbike in London rocked from side to side with the motion chair effect signaling the beginning of the 4DX effect. Not only London, but also the most memorable scene can be selected in two ways. A scene that unfolds after the invasion of Etion based and the final battle in Samoa is the, or the highlight of the highlight. And lastly, this story is connected to the next series, so I think you should uh, watch this movie.